No shortage of fodder for the late night hosts after what happened here on Capitol Hill yesterday when Kevin McCarthy made history as the first lawmaker in 100 years to be denied the speaker's gavel after just one vote. As McCarthy watched ballot after ballot after ballot fail, he sat there in the House chamber, at times laughing, looking amused, or whispering to a senior aide sitting next to him. But while McCarthy appeared to laugh off, laugh it off in front of the cameras, he is facing a real threat from the divisions within his own party when it comes to this second bid for House Speaker. The last time McCarthy wanted to be Speaker, he bowed out before the voting had even started. We should put this conference first. And I think there's something to be said for us to unite. We probably need a fresh face. I'll stay on as majority leader. But the one thing I found in talking to everybody, if we are going to unite and be strong, we need a new face to help do that. So nothing more than that. That was 2015. This is now. McCarthy is vowing to fight until he secures the job. I think at the end of the day, we'll get everybody Wait, there's At this point, if you failed three times, how do you possibly pull this off? You get to 218. The hours of action, or really inaction, on Capitol Hill yesterday continued to drag on as lawmakers braced for a long night of negotiations in the Capitol after they adjourned. Ordering in pizza here, as you can see it being wheeled into McCarthy's office, they continued to meet behind closed doors. McCarthy. McCarthy. That was just one of the many moments that stood out yesterday. McCarthy not paying close attention when it was the time for him to vote for himself in the third round of votes. There was another curious moment yesterday, though, as cameras in the chamber were trained on members as they were going back and forth while this voting was happening. Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was spotted chatting with the Republican Paul Gosar, the lawmaker who has ties to white nationalists and, remember, was censured after he posted that altered anime video depicting him killing AOC and President Biden. Does anyone in this chamber find this behavior acceptable? Would you allow depictions of violence against women, against colleagues? Would you, would you allow that in your home? Do you think this should happen on a school board, in a city council, in a church? And if it's not acceptable there, why should it be accepted here? A spokesman for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez told CNN that Gosar was asking her if any Democrats were planning to vote present. That's a tactic that's been discussed so Marthy could have a lower threshold that he needed to overcome. Also yesterday, George Santos had a hard landing in Washington on his first day. The Republican congressman-elect, who has admitted to making many false claims about his background and largely has hidden from reporters or only spoken to conservative outlets since that news broke, was unable to do so when he was here on Capitol Hill yesterday. He was seen sitting alone in the chamber, sometimes checking his phone. His fellow New York Republicans were openly criticizing him, saying that his conduct is embarrassing. Listen, his conduct uh, is embarrassing uh, and unbecoming, uh, and it is certainly a distraction. Of course, one of the pitfalls from yesterday is that new members were not actually sworn in because there was no House Speaker. George Santos is one of those, though his campaign website did say later on that he was sworn in. Uh, of course, the members who may have had the worst time here, the family members, were those the lawmakers who brought their families here to Washington thinking they were going to be sworn in, but instead you saw sleeping kids in the chamber as the McCarthy speaker fight was playing out. Bored children there, as you can see in the, in the aisles. Some of them maybe wished they were in school after all because of the hours of speeches that were going on. Of course, today the House is expected to hold another day of voting, potentially. We are waiting to see what happens. Democrats have really been reveling in the Republican disarray, saying they are bringing popcorn for today.